What's up, y'all? It's your boy Kevin on stage. I want to welcome you to Headlines, where we talk about all the top stories in sports and entertainment, as reported on BlackSportsOnline.com. Today's top story, Coach K and Shaka Smart have beef. That's right. Coach K said that the Atlantic 10 Conference does not deserve six teams, especially the two that are ahead of NC State. Well, Shaka Smart didn't take too kindly to those comments, and he replied back, First of all, you know it's about to be a great argument when the person replies back, first of all. I felt like Shaka Smart wanted to say, first of all, you ugly, but he didn't. He said, first of all, comparing your own league to someone else's league is like me saying that my daughter is cuter than your daughter, he said. There's a level of bias that comes into play that you shouldn't even make those comments. Secondly, coaches are too busy to be an authority on someone else's conference. You can read the rest of the story in the links below, as with all the stories. But Shaka Smart fired back, and I'd like to say, Boom, shakalaka. Was that corny? A little bit, but I digress. I loved it in NBA Jam. Moving on, the top five excuses to call in from work when the NCAA tournament starts. Here's number five. Invite your boss to Hooters. It's a stretch, I know, but you don't know whether it's gonna work or not until you try it. It's either really gonna work or you're gonna get fired. Number four, tell your boss you have a court appearance. The more embarrassing, the better. Child support. Child support is actually the best one. Go with child support, nobody's gonna argue against that. Number three, lice. Haven't you heard that selfies among teens are causing lice? Use that to your advantage. Tell them your teen had lice and you took a selfie together and now you can't come into work for fear of contaminating the whole office. Number two, tell them the pipe's broke in your house. It's a good story, nobody's gonna really check and nobody really wants to deal with that because if it happened in their house, they wouldn't want that problem either. And the number one, excuse to call in sick to work you've got a back injury back injuries are nearly impossible to prove oh my neck oh my back oh my neck and my back hit them with the one two combo stay at home and watch the game do you know why because you want a chance at filling out the perfect bracket and winning a billion dollars i'm sorry to say that's never gonna happen you want to know what the odds of filling out a perfect bracket and winning the billion dollars are i'll tell you it's gonna ruin your day but you have the odds of getting a perfect ncaa tournament bracket are one and 9.2 quintillion you know what 9.2 quintillion looks like written out nine comma two two three comma three seven two comma zero three six comma eight five four comma seven seven five comma eight zero eight that's 9.2 billion written 1 billion times. You have a better chance of winning the Powerball three times. So just enjoy your bracket and know that you're not going to win. Moving on to the major leagues, an Italian team's in hot water because they remade a major league spoof of a commercial and it was going well until they did the part where Wesley Snipes slides in and instead of having a black player, which apparently none were available, they slid in this guy. Note to people, blackface never works. You wanna know why this umpire is face down? Because he got hit with a line drive right in the nuts. That's what I feel like should have happened to blackface people. Get a shot in the nuts, know what it feels like. You can see the video in all its technicolor on Black Sports Online. Warning, if you have nuts, you might not wanna watch. Now on the NFL news, there's a person who went to Switzerland and did a ski marathon dressed all the way in full Marshawn Lynch gear. I guess he was just about that action, boss. Cam Newton is out for a couple of months with an ankle injury. Apparently, it's just to strengthen some ligaments. Let me tell you something. If you lose Steve Smith and you have pretty much no receiver to throw to, go out for a couple months. Let them know, as long as I have no one to throw to, I don't really want to be standing around the premises. Earl Bennett was cut today, so maybe the Panthers will pick him up. Until then, I expect Cam to sit the sidelines for just a little while. It's the offseason anyway. Please sign somebody. I know he's telling himself that. And we're going to close with NBA news. Andrew Bynum is out indefinitely. After having to have his knee drain, he just put up 15 and 9, and apparently that was too much for those old knees. He's out for a little Wow, you know who's in? Iman Shumpert. Bill Jackson says Shumpert is the key to the rebuilding of the Knicks franchise. That's amazing because Shump has been on the trading block for it seems like his entire career while in New York. It's good to know that Phil the Zen Master says Shump, you're staying in New York. 
Stay tuned for reports in another two weeks that he was traded. It's just the way the league works. And in closing, Stephen A says that he's got the inside track. Sources are telling him that Carmelo is gone. And I quote, I was told this last week. I was told a few days ago. I had it reiterated to me by somebody I trust yet again this morning that Carmelo Anthony is gone. He is leaving New York City. I guess we're just going to have to find out because as you know, sources aren't anything but somebody speaking without anybody backing them up and we've seen how that's worked out in the past this has been headlines on blacksportsonline.com with your boy kev on stage see you tomorrow and every monday through friday with all the top sports news and entertainment